Here's an example of some naughty structures created by using Renee's CV output to control elements of the sequence. Since it's feeding back into itself, it can go from slight disequilibrium to unpredictable nonsense with many interesting balances in between. We're going to start with Renee in Cartesian mode. Note that snake mode is deactivated, as are all other options on the function pages. I prefer pendulum movement on the axis for this patch, but it's a matter of preference. Also note that all 16 knobs are zeroed out, so it's sending the same value from all steps. I'm going to call up a save sequence on the Q page and liberate the knobs from this QCV output. Renee's X and Y clock inputs are being fed by the gate outs from channels 1 and 4 of maths, respectively. They're running at different speeds. Note also that channel 1 has fall time at 0, and channel 4 has rise time at 0. In Cartesian mode, Renee's gate outs follow the width of the clock inputs. Once we start speeding up the movement of this sequence, we want those gates very short so they stay distinct for striking the optimix. We'll start by having Rene modulate the cycle speeds of the maths, taking the unquantized CV out and molting it to channels 2 and 3 on maths. We'll feed these to the both inputs on the two cycling channels. Now let's start sending some modulation. Since we're in pendulum mode on both axes, the sequence is more likely to spend time in the middle locations. If I turn those knobs up a bit, they'll speed up the clock when the sequence reaches them, pushing it back out to the edge. Using the attenuverters on math channel 2 and 3, we can alter the amount and direction of modulation independently for the two clocks. If we turn most of the locations up and leave a few at zero, we can cause the sequence to be much more likely to stop at those locations for a longer time. We can also use the clocking functions to influence the sequence directly. Since channel 1 is clocking the x-axis, let's have its function out CV the y-axis and vice versa. A little modulation goes a pretty long way with this. Small variations in knob settings and where the clocks are when they reach each location can make a big difference in the patch. Sometimes leading to sequences that repeat almost but not quite small variations each time. <laughs> 